when my birthday party was uh, when I was filming the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, yeah, uh, part two. I, I gotta think, I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't know. See, it's been a wonderful year for me. It's been a year of personal change, personal reevaluation, um, success um, with records, Sleeping With The Past being my biggest album. Um, but most of all, we're finding personal happiness. The best thing that happened to me in 1990, I'll tell you, I can tell you. We went gold in two weeks. I think that uh, far more significant is what is going to be the eventuality of all of us, um, all of the, the soldiers and the, the forces that are over in the, in the Middle East, and is the crisis going to be resolved uh, peacefully. From my perspective as, as a guitar player, I have to say, one of the most devastating losses this year is the death of Steve Ray Vaughan. He will be greatly missed, and, you know, I just wanted to say, you know, goodbye to Stevie from the heart. Definitely in 1990, it was uh, censorship. The fact that they weren't successful in closing down the artistic voice this year, that was important to me. The two live crew, for instance, yes, they have every right to freedom of speech, but the basic point should now be dealt with that they are crap. The thing I'm looking forward to the most in 1991. Hmm. I'm hoping to settle down, get a wife, a couple kids, and uh, live the rest of my life out like a responsible human being. I want to see Kip do a do like a Peter Gabriel record. I'm just looking forward to somebody snuffing Saddam Hussein, the guy ripped off my song title for his stupid little sandbox war. I'm hoping to grow another inch, put on another 40, 50 pounds, maybe try to get in the NFL. My goal before 1995 is to weigh 300 pounds plus. I'd like to be hugely successful, and I won't hold my breath. <laughs> Well, that's it for this edition of The Week in Rock. We leave you now with a Thin Lizzy tribute from the reunited Bon Jovi, and we'll see you back here again next week.